Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. The first little pig built his house of straw. Straw? Oh, that sounds so good, I can almost taste it. Do you mind? I'm trying to tell a story. The second pig built his house of sticks. Oh, boy, nice tasty sticks. Hey, back off, goat boy. Eating is my thing. I could out-eat you any day of the week, sister. And the third pig built his house of bricks. Bricks? That seems overly protective. What is Mr. Mortar hiding from? What? The third pig wanted a strong house, for he knew... Wait! What's the fourth pig's house made of? There is no fourth pig. Whoa! The third pig, however, knew that in the nearby woods there lived a big, bad wolf. <laughs> wolf? Make some room, shorty. What's so bad about a wolf? This story needs a horse with uh, muscles and sunglasses. Charisma. Very well. Once upon a time, the big bad horse, who had lovely muscles and sunglasses and charisma, was eaten by the big bad wolf. This is not funny! May I continue now? Fine, forget me. Go on. Thank you. One day, the wolf came to call, and the first little pig ran into his house of straw. Now, wait a minute. Is this the story with all the huffing and the puffing and the... Blowing down! Down! Oh, yeah, I know the one you mean. And then the cat jumps over the green cheese moon. Then she's rescued from hostile beings by Grace Rogers of the 21st Dynasty. But she meets her match against the big bad monster horse, Buckzilla. <laughs> That's right. Everybody runs from the half daddy. Let's go, Wolfie. You want a piece of me? No, no, no. Stop it. Stop that. Stop it. This is absolute rubbish. I've never wow. heard. That was the most awesome story ever. Well, it's always been my opinion that the classics could do with a bit of embellishment to lighten things up a bit. Now then, Jack and the Beanstalk. Once upon a time...